Welcome to Down East Gardener. I'm Lisa Garvin of Eastport, and my friend Irene Rogers of Denny'sville and I are Master Gardeners with the Washington County Cooperative Extension Service. As a project, we've chosen to highlight Japanese knotweed, an invasive species in the state of Maine. The first least wanted weed that landowners in Washington County should be aware of is Japanese knotweed, aka Mexican bamboo, crimson beauty, or fleece flower. It's a herbaceous perennial in the buckwheat family that is native to Asia, but this weed was brought to the U.S. from England in the late 1800s. Knotweed was established here mainly as an ornamental. It can be found in 36 states from Maine to Wisconsin and Washington County. Invasive weed is very persistent with extremely long rhizomes that can reach 45 to 60 feet in length. They give it vegetative means for new growth. After overwintering, sprouts appear from underground rhizomes early in the spring. These sprouts grow rapidly, sometimes exceeding more than three inches per day, allowing the plant to reach its full height of over 10 feet by the early part of the summer. It is so dense that no other plants can grow underneath. Japanese knotweed leaves are normally about six inches long by three inches wide. The greenish white flowers appear from July to August. The flowers are normally followed by small winged fruits. The seeds are about one-tenth of an inch long. Japanese knotweed seeds can be spread with the help of wind, water, or as a contaminant in fill dirt, but amazingly, even on the soles of shoes. It is not found too often in forests, but that doesn't mean it can't survive in a shaded environment. This least wanted weed is very hard to control. The best tool is to prevent establishment. Digging up small populations can be effective if all roots and runners are removed, but be warned, this method can also promote regrowth of the weed. Hand pulling of small Japanese knotweed plants is possible, but again, the roots have to be removed or they will re-sprout. All cuttings and plants should be bagged up and removed from the site. If a one inch piece of the rhizome is left in the soil, whole new plants can sprout. Mowing of Japanese knotweed is not a good alternative. Small pieces will get chopped up, then thrown or carried by the mower, and the weed will establish itself where it wasn't present before. Mowing must be avoided unless vegetation can be thoroughly cleaned off the mower. Another control possibility is shading the knotweed with black plastic. This may reduce growth, but this method doesn't necessarily stop the underground rhizomes from spreading under and past the black plastic. Biological control research has not yet produced a viable management alternative. The only method to control large stands of knotweed is with repeated applications of herbicides, but complete eradication may not be possible. Japanese knotweed is truly one of the least wanted invasive plants. It doesn't benefit wildlife, it chokes out growth of other plants, and once it is established, cannot effectively be eliminated. Because of these reasons, there are few people who share the fondness for the plant displayed by its 19th century importers.